We're live. Colored Barbershop and Supply Store. YouTube World. What's going on, too? Regular old Monday, we got one of my fellow barbers in the chair. This is my son, Martel. Big, and, uh, big, big drip. He's the, he's the biggest barber we have here. He's bigger than all of us, but he's younger than all of us. So I'm not sure how to do this. But we're going to taper it. I'm going to just kind of, if you guys want to ask questions, that's cool. I'm going to start going live. We got a better camera. Uh, give us some shout outs on the footage of the camera. Uh, been a long time coming. And we're in. We're off to the races. If you're out there, give us a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Uh, say where you're from today. Um, that always motivates me to kind of see what's going on. Okay, so what we're going to do today, we're going to do a goatee. It's got a goatee there. Uh, smile for the goatee. And... Oh, wow. It was still on? Uh... Oh, still on. Okay, so I'm going to start off. It's going to be a bald taper. I like to start off combing and brushing uh, everything out, especially the line up into the face. And again, I like breaking my haircuts down. Uh, for those of you guys who've been with us for some years, I go in half, imaginary line uh, down. The middle gives me a left side and a right side. And then I go, you know, ear to ear over the top of the head. Let me turn that over a little bit. From ear to ear. Gives me four quarters. Quarter number one on the left side, two. Uh, allows me to take a breather, three and four. I strongly suggest that you get lost in your haircuts, just get organized, number one. I like to start from the left, work around to the right. Because if you cut the hair down, the calic or whorl area right, located right in the crown, uh, you'll see that the hair grows generally right to left or clockwise. Give or take, a customer may have a couple of different whorls or whatnot, all right? Let's cut some hair, peace. All right, so I'm gonna take my trimmer since he's going bald taper. I'm gonna dig straight on in and make myself a guideline here. That's gonna be really nice because we're going from all this hair up here, how thick it is, to bald. All right, so. It, I'm gonna go ahead and come on down here and start to shape the goatee. And again, when I first go through it, it's just kind of general lines. You can go back and tap it with the razor and sharpen things up. In my brain, I'm moving from the left to the right. Um, about middle of the ear is what I look at as the breaking point for all my face services, beard, mustache, goatee, and things like that. And anything from the middle ear up would be all my haircut services. So that's the way I think. So while I'm on this side, I'm organized. I'm setting up my bald taper on quarter number one. And I'm also establishing the general um, lines associated with this goatee while I'm on this side. Okay. I'll try to do as much as I can with the tool that I have in my hand and get a method to your madness. Starting point and stopping point is really important as far as, you know, professionalism and consistency because you want to be consistent. Uh, you don't want to do a good haircut one time on the customer and say, man, best haircut I ever had. It comes the next time and you, you're lost in the sauce. You really don't know or have an idea uh, where you're starting at or anything like that. <clears throat> Tell your customer never to do that. Don't scratch my head while I'm trying to do a video. It's like, nah. All right, so here is my goatee. I'm not sure if that's making uh, any sense to you. I like principle and practical things. Okay, so I'm all about setting up guidelines. What I can do here is do a casual line in the front. It 
Just saying this is where we want our lineup to generally be. The concept is kind of like drawing the picture and coloring it in. We can come back later, sharpen up with our razor, or even add a little bit of enhancement if you want, um, you know, Stick darker out. lines, different things like that. The cool part is I'm going section by section. There's quarter number one. There's a setup from the whole first quarter. Right. Now I'm going quarter number two. doesn't matter which side you start with when you do your uh, your sections. Yeah, if you were listening earlier, I want to get you some more of that too since you just um, still, I'll say, one of the newer barbers here, but you want to start on your left, going around to your right. That's what I was saying earlier because the hair grows right to left. Even just when you line it up too. Yeah, because you notice if you comb your hair, on the left side of your head, mm -hmm. into the face, it naturally flows that way. Mm -hmm. Watch when you do your right tapers. The hair usually grows straight down or towards the back of the right ear. If you really pay attention to it, you'll start doing better tapers because you'll cut the hair according to the way it's growing. So, to have a method to your madness, starting on the left side, working around to your right, is really good uh, for those purposes, you'll see how the hair flows, and then you'll get sharper cuts around your lineup because you'll be cutting uh, according to the grip. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Do the same thing, other side. Yeah, there's more than one way to do it. I'm just saying for this particular okay. demo. I've taught a lot of barbers as far as building consistency because you don't want to, you know, all hair is different. Just getting a good habit now. Do I do that every single haircut? No. I get bored, like to have fun, jump around. But my base, when stuff get busy and I get behind and stuff like that, guess what I'm going to? Fundamentals. And I'm starting on my left side, working around to my right so I don't get lost in the haircut. You know, you had them days where everything's going on at like one time. Okay, so and then concentrate on basic shapes. I'm doing my ear arches. Ears can be a little tricky, so let's fold it down, opposite hand. Use your corners when you're working around the corners. It is a little fresh there, aren't it? Yeah, that was part of the reason why I picked that just for this particular demo. I know it's your head, but I suggested that just to see how the goatee can help. The clean shave and the goatee can help show off a bald taper because everything is, what you're featuring is the bald effect. You know what I'm saying? And then how it makes everything look clean. All right, so same thing here. It brings me to my right side. And we're nice and organized. We're not guessing. We know exactly where we're headed, All right? this up a little bit. There we go. And with my beard not be all the way. Hey, I appreciate it. Power up 331. Uh, let me know where you're from. I don't know the name right offhand, but we got one person out there. I don't know what it is. 
Oh, no, I was their name, I think. Oh, okay. But, yeah, if you're out there, give us a shout-out. Uh, put the city you're from. That always helps create some motivation. We can see how we're all connected. All right, so, again, from quarter number one, working around to quarter number four, that brings us back here. And, again, on the, on the lineup, I'm doing what I like to think is a casual line, and you come back and sharpen it up um, at the end of the haircut, but this kind of puts a framework on everything and brings the haircut all together in a quick um, type of manner so that you can see where everything is supposed to sit, almost like a rough draft. And then we'll get the tapers. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey. You'll be next up here. Sounds good. All right, so there's our lineup. Our lineup all the way around. And ball tapers here. Try not to scrape too much. My trimmers, apologize about that, are, are a little sharp. But I do want a clean, clean shave. You can come back with electric shavers. You can come back with a hot towel razor. Shave, any of those things are an option. Biggest thing you want to highlight, this area here, the ball taper, and a clean shave kind of helps complement that. Who's the point? <laughs> you use a uh, lighter hand if you can help it. Uh, I, ain't, I, don't, I don't think I'm heavy handed, but I do run my trimmers really, really sharp just so I can get sharp lines and um, try to use that in um, cahoots with razor. Okay, so I want a, a low line on the mustache, mustache bottom line, just around the lip. Hip hop kind of be nice and clean and sharp, just like your front line. So when you do a <coughs> particular, as far as doing goatees, you want to, do you usually do your uh, top mustache low too? Or do you usually just, or that on the barber, I mean, the discretion of the, uh, I don't understand what you mean. What do you mean your top mustache, the top line? Yeah, you the top line of the mustache. Like, no, what, I try to keep it full. You know, it's really, this is different because I asked you to do a certain cut, mm -hmm. but obviously you want to give the people what they want. If they say they want pepperoni on their pizza, don't mm -hmm. go just add mushrooms and say, I got just the thing you want. You know what I'm saying? Try to stay consistent and um, remember, stay in tune and remember what they ask for. But sometimes the barber shop can get a little loud or you just forget while you're cutting it. Go for what you think look good and miss what the customer wants. Kind of looks better when mine's are shorter when you do it my go to instead of keeping it wide. Yeah. Okay, so that's generally it. That's where we want to be. Now there's a way, uh, what I just presented right there, is a way that you can keep everything kind of organized and consistent, um, and then we can start tapering. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go back to my left side. Fun and easy way to get it done. I'm gonna go with a closed clipper, put it all the way down. It's a wall singer. I'm just gonna scoop any of this around the ear, like I'm lining an afro up.
Okay, so I'm just going, let's, I kind of went off into my own world looking at stuff. Let's go open five, and I'm gonna come up just about a comb's length. Just on that bottom line. See, that kind of gives me a faint line. You all right? Yeah. Faint line here and then a heavier line there. So anything underneath that, I'm going to close the clipper just a little bit more. We'll call that a four. And then there's three. About a third of the way closed. Anything that your clipper don't get, you can come back with your trimmers. And that's basically fading out your bottom line. All right, let's go for your top line. We'll open the clipper back up. And just pull the hair back. I'm going to close the clipper. Okay, so there's our ball taper. Give or take a couple hairs on the left temple area. All right. That's where we want to be. Now let's swing around. Get out of my home, All right, let's go for your back taper. So open five, there's four just underneath it. Three, two. Okay, so again, five's here, four's there, three, two, one. Just work down the neck now. As far as here, I'm gonna go close clipper all the way. Trim it like you would just trimming a, like a freehand uh, clipper over a afro. That'll get all your bulk work, and then you can just clean it up with both ends of your comb. So let's use a wide end. Before we get in there, you can open five it. Check that's your nice beer. There you go, still bro. You see that 
Okay, we're trying to get this other side. So, moving in quarters allows us to know exactly where we're at. So, let's knock this other taper out and we'll be to the right side. It'll be done. All right, so we're going to go up. leads us to our right side. So same thing here. Come a little closer. Here. I like to freehand it first just to get all the wild hairs out of the way. And it kind of helps. I put my taper in there a little easier. May put a comb in there first just to make sure it's safe, kind of see how the hair is going to fall. Then I can come in there, I'm gonna open five, and I try to get at least right above the C where your C shape or your side hairline would be, just so we don't have to make one. Um, let's get slightly above that. Try to use yourself on it if you could. Yeah, I'm sorry. Tie that up. Another color. Okay, so there's my open five. You got your light line, then your dark, darker top line. I'm gonna hit underneath. This particular uh, hair is pretty easy to taper, but if you just stay consistent, set up your quarters, put your guidelines in, you see how I'm walk, moving everything from left to right. We did it with the lineup and the setup, and we came back around, blended in, haircut's pretty much done. When you switch clipper and comb, I always would suggest if you're just starting off, you go here, open five, on the wider end of the comb, and then close it catch the hairs and if you want to tilt it back a little bit that'll prevent you taking off too much until you Okay, so I'm going back over my taper and just sliding the it's corner in, almost using a slithering technique, which just allows it to uh, thin out any of the bulk so you can get your smoother, smoother taper, add a little more butter to the blend. Right. 
little bit more smoothness on the table. So that's where we want to be. For the viewers out there, feel free to comment. It's just a little tidbit. Uh, clipper and comb, or excuse me, ball taper using a clipper and comb. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Quick breakdown on that. If you got any questions, comments, any of the above, feel free to hit us up. We're back, Colored Barbershop and Supplies Store. Been a minute. We'll try to get more videos out there. Been busy, but uh, it's time to go back in, back in the lab. Uh, clarity on video is something that we were really trying to work on. Um, we hadn't done the best of that over the last year or two, so hopefully it's better. If you like the clarity, thumbs up. Uh, any videos that you're interested in, uh, things you're getting stuck on haircut wise, uh, anything pertaining to the business of barbering, how to run a barbershop, how to open a barbershop, um, any of those things uh, is fair game. And other than that, let's celebrate the great game. Colors Barbershop and Supply Store, we got a dark spot right there. We can't go out on that note. Okay, so this is generally where you want to be. And there's our clip of foam. Tape. I'm going to take the sponge on the top. That's kind of what uh, is trending nowadays. Kind of a curly top, nappy top. Kind of celebrating the texture of this particular hair. Keep it natural. And showing off the ball tapers. Until next time, Colors Barbershop and Supply Store.